When you save a file in Photoshop as a TIFF, you have a few options which include file compression. The two main forms of lossless compression are LZW and ZIP. I'm not going to look at JPEG compression here. If your file is layers, you also get options for compressing the layers. RLE, faster with a bigger file size, or ZIP, which is slower but results in a smaller file size. I want to see just how much slower compressing with ZIP is. The image I am working with is a Canon compressed CR3 file from an EOS R camera. It is 4480 by 6720 pixels. I start by opening the file which goes through camera raw. I am making no adjustments and I am accepting the settings of 8-bit at the native size which we just saw is 4480 by 6720 pixels or 30.1 megapixel. I'm going to do a save here and I have no compression set. And the save time here is 0 0.7 seconds. I'm going to add a second layer, save the file again, no compression, and it's 3.1 seconds to save the file. I'm going to use the liquify filter to just make some big adjustments to the file. Accept that. We'll save the file. This time it takes 3.8 seconds. Next I'm going to add another filter, Impression from Topaz. Impression gives a painterly look, which will make the image a little bit more complex. I don't think that will affect the save time for the uncompressed TIFF, but it should affect the time it takes when I use the compression settings when saving the TIFF file. This time it takes 3.8 seconds. So I'm going to close the file and open it again. Again, accepting the defaults in Camera Raw. Do the same thing. Save it, give it a new name, A. Set the compression to LZW. save and it takes about 1.75 seconds. I'm using Photoshop's timing that you'd see in the lower corner. Add the layer, save again, 3.8 seconds. Go into liquify again. Save, and it's 3.7 seconds. Add the impression filter. Save it again, and it's 2.6 seconds. So close it again and start all over through camera raw. This time I'm going to save it as a TIFF, add the B to the file name, select zip compression, yes I really want to do it, and that takes 8.9 seconds. You know the drill now. We're going to add a second layer and save it. And that takes us ten point four seconds to save. And the liquify. Push some pixels around. Hit OK. Save that. And we're at 10.1 seconds. Now we have the Topaz Impression Filter.
back to Photoshop, save, and now we wait. And that was a little Bach invention that I put together in GarageBand that we can listen to while we're waiting for the save here, which is going on still. And it's going to take, wait for it, 86.8 seconds to save. And one more try here. Again, back to the CR3 file, through Camera Raw, into Photoshop. Rename it, save it with zip compression, and this time it takes 8.5 seconds. Add a layer, change the layer compression to zip, save it. We're up to 14.9 seconds. Liquify. Push some pixels around. Save it. Sixteen point four seconds this time. Add the impression filter from Topaz. And save it. A little more Bach and it's still saving and it comes in at 
95.2 seconds. So there you see how much slower zip is than the other forms. Here we see the final file sizes and save times for the same image with the two layers and the two filters applied. We can see that the zip zip compressed file is much smaller, about half the size of the uncompressed file, but it took one and a half minutes to save the file. The zip RLE and the LZW compressed files are quite similar in size, less than three seconds to save the LZW file versus almost one and a half minutes to save the zip RLE file. I didn't run this test in the video, but saving the file with LZW compression and the zip layer compression came in with a save time of 10.9 seconds and a file size of 122.3 megabytes. Very similar to the zip zip file size, but 11 seconds instead of 90 seconds to save.